okay let's say you um someone sent you you are a company someone sent you a proposal and you need to look at it you want to react on it and you want them to change the proposal yeah so the question is what should you send them and what can you put in the letter that's technically it so you are this company and you want to send them a reaction on the propo um, proposal and see how what they are going to do so that's what we're going to discuss here so first thing first always remember start with the subject what you're going to put in the subject of the email and then you can put thank thank you for your patience let's finalize this deal so that's technically it and then remember when you start always talk about the name so always notice the name the contact name and then um you can send it like this this is to compliment them on what they do what they did so they sent you a letter and the proposal and what the issues are and then um, how you're gonna solve them yeah how the company is going to solve them so you react on it and then you can put something nice like this So technically, this is something you can put in it. Most of the time, the person that sent the proposal will sell the terms of condition. But if they don't, you can let your company create the contracts with the proposal and then send it to them. It doesn't matter who does it, but as soon as there's a signature or someone say, I agree with this, you're good to go. But no more. In real life, people just send a proposal with the terms of condition, and as soon as they accept it, then you have a contract, or they create a separate contract. That's technically how it works. So, if you look at this, you can see attach our suggestion for the five sections that are being modified. I am pleased that we close that we are close to the language that both of us can live with, and I hope we are, you will agree that we are close to finalize this deal. Yeah, closing the deal. As soon as you give me OK, I will have the contracts draw up and ready for the signature. Thanks again. All right, yeah. Typo here. Yeah. So technically, this is something you can use. And it doesn't matter who's create the contract. It can be the other party or the other one, as long as both of the party accept it and sign, put the signature on it, then you have a contract. Yeah. So, and then you will end with the signature. Remember, this is a template that you can use. If you have a question about it, what you can do is just go to martins.bo.link. There you will join the law center. Press law center. When you're in the law center, there you can ask me question about these kind of things. And if you're watching this on YouTube, yeah, subscribe. Seriously, subscribe. What you can do is just press the like button because you like this video otherwise you wouldn't be this far press subscribe because you're supporting me i really appreciate that and don't forget to turn on the notification bell on because when i'm live or when i post the video you will know about that see you in the next video